All right, now it says write an equation in slope intercept form of the line that passes through the given points. So again, I'm not going to do both of these, so I'm going to go ahead and do number four here. And so again, we have to find the slope. So I'm going to take negative one minus a negative four all over negative four minus eight. I keep change, change. It gives me a positive three. Keep change, change, and I get negative 12 reduces to a negative one fourth. And now that's my slope. So now I have y minus, and I'm going to go ahead and use this ordered pair, a negative 4 equals a negative 1 fourth times x minus 8. Notice I'm always using point slope form. Two negatives make the positive there, so that's y plus 4 is equal to, now I'm going to distribute this through, negative 1 fourth times x, negative times a negative is a positive, and a fourth of 8 is 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to subtract 4 from each side. And I get y is equal to a negative 1 fourth x minus 2. And there's our final answer. Now again, number 5, we just did one like that on the previous slide. So I'm not going to do that one. You already have an example like that in your notes. So now we're going to take a look at this application problem. And again, we read through this, and this is the table of values. And again, we can find the slope of this table of values. So we're going to use the points 4, 34. And I'm going to use the point 6, 46. So the first thing we're going to do is find the slope. So again, I subtract my y's, 46 minus 34. I'm going to subtract the x's in the same order. I get 12 divided by 2 is 6. So that's my slope, remember. Now I'm going to again use point slope form, and I'm just going to use this first point that we're given. So y minus y1 would be 34 equals m, which is 6, times the quantity x minus x1, which is 4. And again, we're going to write this into slope intercept form. So I'm going to distribute this through. I have y minus 34 is equal to 6x minus 24. And I'm going to add 34 to each side. Add 34 to each side, and I get y is equal to 6x plus 10. All right, and now there's my answer for this. This is the linear model that represents the cost for the number of foam hands. So, 